Now my religion is reality. Come take a drink from the great bird stick. Coming with authority, group of the majority. This is not your gimmick or your fraudulent trick. Now I see children of originals doomed to lose. Teachers and preachers remain confused. Talk about humanists and true black ways. Talk a revolution and you're out to entertain. Peace, blessings, and black love. This is Amanja Awetu coming to you black at it again. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is a visual, so this time I need you to look at it and listen. So if you're not in a position to look at it, wait until you're in a position to look at it. Um, this particular clip or reaction to a video comes off of a movie TV series that's on Netflix called Squid Games. I talk about how the strong or the brave is outnumbered or alpha how we're outnumbered by the coward or the weak most people understand it some people don't but this is my way of getting you to see how the strong of any people group are always outnumbered by the weak so when i say when i give you the analogy that stronger men came up with the gangs but then it was co-opted or infiltrated by weaker men. There are weaker males running the gangs. This particular clip coming off of Squid Games off of Netflix. I want to show you how it happens. I want to show you the dialogue and I want you to understand how it happens. Because the, the weak, for the most part, they can't beat you physically. But they use other tactics to come at you or at least other tactics to remove you from your position of power. Roll the tape. Nice. But you think this will do anything? <laughs> we can get through all of this easily. <laughs> You're not worried at all? Those scumbags you got on your side over there? Are they people you trust? If that was me there, once the fighting starts to happen, you'd be the first person I'd go for. You're the strongest person here. You're the strongest person here. You're the strongest person here. So he says to him, you see those people over there? Once the fighting and everything starts happening, you'll be the first person they go for because you're the strongest one here. What does that mean? What that means is our people are using the warrior class to fight their battles. Our people are weak. Our people as a collective, our nation, we are a weak race. We may be the best, but there, we're, not the, we're not perfect. There is no perfect or perfection on this planet. So we may be the best. We may have the best genetics. We may have the best aptitude. We may even have the best in intelligence, but we are not perfect. And where we lack, where other nations succeed is they're, they're stronger. They're not stronger because they're stronger individually. They're stronger because they collect. They know how to collectivize. They know how to come together. Blacks can't come together. For the most part, blacks are never going to come together. Blacks are never going to come together because there's just too many restrictions. And the enemies of our nation allow certain people groups of our nation to express that individual part of them 
that allows them to feel free. They don't mind being enslaved. This is where we're getting it wrong. We really, really believe if they knew better, they would do better. They know better. They're not worried about doing better. They're worried about having fun and having fun to them means more than anything. Remember how it works. Even on a slave plantation, they had to stop brutalizing them because it was the brutality that was causing them to fight back. So in order to quell some of the fighting, what they ended up doing is allowing them to play, party, dance. It's the same thing when they came up with the marriages. The men were fighting back because they wanted the women and they didn't want their women raped. So then they came up and they, they came up with the concept allowing the men to get married in order to quell that fire that was in the man. We're here 2022 and we're suffering the exact same plagues. We're suffering the exact same things on this planet. And it is because our race of people, we may be the best, but we're not perfect. What makes us imperfect is our ability to organize. What makes us vulnerable and victims is the coward class outnumbers the warrior class and the coward class i keep explaining it to you coward class is your your religious sector your coward class is your spirituality sector your coward class is your fraternity sector your coward your coward class is your interracial dating interracial dating and marriage sector but specifically to the caucasian your coward class is for the most part, entertainers and athletes, for the most part, your coward class, anybody that wants to buy into the system, not anybody that wants to destroy the system. The coward class is any male or female that wants to buy into the system. And they're going to try to buy in to that system any way they see fit whether it be interracial marriage via a caucasian intersexuality intersex sectionality they're going to try to buy in economically they're going to try to buy in educationally they're going to try to buy in any way that they can the others, which is your warrior class, we want justice. And in order to get justice, this system has to be destroyed. And if the people ain't talking, destroy this system. And if the people ain't talking, let's get rid of this system and in for and uh, bring about a system of justice, then that's your coward class. The coward class is causing us to fail, not the warrior class. The warrior class is that class that allows us to advance to the degree that we've always been advancing. The warrior class is the ones that fight back. That's male and or female. But it's the coward class that actually makes matters worse. They undermine us at every turn. They undermine us but politically they undermine us economically they undermine us social socioeconomically they undermine us in every aspect of the advancement and when you hear this movie when you see this clip i need my listening audience to understand this is why we are we are failing we're not failing because we're stupid we're dumb we don't get it we're failing because we're weak. We're failing because we're cowardly. And we're not scared of black America. Black people in general is not scared of the European in the sense of a one on one skirmish or interaction. You're not scared of Europeans in the sense of white supremacy, racism, technically you're not scared of them in that regard. Where the fear comes into play is, is your inability to play. You don't want no one to take away your ability to play. 
whether it was Malcolm, whether it was Martin, whether it was Mecker, whether it was Stokely, whether it was um, Huey, whether Mark uh, um, Fanny, you all don't want anyone to interfere with your ability to play. That's what cost us. That is what's costing us now. And until we get until we have a civil war amongst ourselves, we're really not going to be effective. There are too many cowards. There are too many backstabbers. This is how we're being defeated. We are being defeated from within, not without. Patterns don't change. People do. Warrior class, zoo, rise up. Warrior class, zoo, speak up. Warrior class, zoo, show up. Warrior class, zoo, smoke them out. Peace and black love. In this campaign, we are coming to get our check. Fair Use Act Disclaimer This site is for educational purposes only. Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research.